later, when Laban learned that Jacob had fled, he immediately gathered his family and began to pursue Jacob. After seven days, Laban overtook Jacob, but not before God had warned him in a dream. Be careful not to say anything to Jacob, either good or bad. The next morning, Laban and his kinsmen confronted Jacob. Why did you deceive me and carry away my daughters as if by the sword? And why did you flee without telling me? I could have sent you away with joy in singing. You did not even permit me to kiss my family goodbye. It was a foolish thing to do, and it is in my power to do you harm. But God warned me in a dream last night and told me to be careful what I say to you. I was afraid because I thought you would take your daughters from me by force. But why did you steal my household gods? If you find that someone is in possession of your gods, that person shall not remain alive. However, Jacob did not know that Rachel had stolen the gods. Laban searched through Jacob's tent and each of his wives' tents, but did not find the idols, for Rachel had hidden them in the camel's saddle on which she sat. When Laban approached Rachel, she said, Please do not be angry with me for not rising to greet you, for the way of women is upon me. And Jacob said to Laban, What is my sin? Why have you pursued me? You have searched our tents and did not find your gods. I served you fourteen years for your two daughters and six more years for your flocks. And in return, you changed my wages ten times. If the God of Abraham, the one whom Isaac fears, had not been with me, surely you would have sent me away empty-handed. God has seen my affliction and the labor of my hands and rebuked you in a dream last night. These daughters are my daughters. The children are my children. The flocks are my flocks. And all that you see belongs to me. What can I do this day for my daughters or for the children they have born? Come, let us make a covenant between you and me. So Jacob, set a stone upright as a pillar and instructed his men to gather stones and set them in a pile. And together they agreed before the Lord God of Abraham to do each other no harm. Jacob and Laban called these stones the pile of witness in their respective languages. They ate together that night and early the next morning, Laban kissed his daughters and his grandchildren and returned to his home. These twenty years I have been in your house. I served you fourteen years for your two daughters and six years for your flock, and you have changed my wages ten times. If the God of my father, the God of Abraham, and the fear of Isaac had not been on my side, surely now you would have sent me away empty-handed. Genesis chapter 31, verses 41 and 42.